Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a full face including skincare tutorial using a ton of by Terry products. They recently sent me this amazing kit right here. This kit has so many things in it. Do you see all this? We've got skincare, you have makeup, powder, you have this case. So this is the case that you can actually use for travel and it has a mirror and everything. It is an amazing deal, an amazing set, and I love the products that are included. I'm also going to be going over some of their holiday products, which are the By Terry Starlight Rose Glow Booster CC Serum. I have their Elixir, where is it? This guy right here. Starlight Rose Youth Glow Elixir. These are limited edition items. And then I have, where is it? <laughs> all of these look the same and they're all over my, my desk right here. This is the Starlight Rose CC Powder Limited Edition, part of their holiday collection. Let me show you. This right here, I'm gonna be putting all of these things to the test and I'm gonna be doing skincare as well because there's skincare in the set. This mask, I have some of their face creams, I have lip balms, I have a lot of things to show you guys. And I wanted to show you just like a really glowy, simple makeup look and skincare all in one. By Terry did send these to me. Some of these things I had in my collection, I think I'm gonna have to just like list down below, put a little star by the things that were sent to me, but, they accidentally sent me two of these kits and uh, I reached out to them and I said, uh, did you mean to send me two of the kit? And they said, you got two of the same exact thing? I said, yeah. And I was like, do you want me to send it back to you or what would you like me to do? I was like, I can do a giveaway if you don't mind. And uh, they obliged. They said absolutely keep it and you can do a giveaway. So I have an extra kit. This is a $450 kit you guys. So if you want to win this, make sure that you stick around all the way to the end and I'm going to give you guys the information you need in order to enter. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get into this full face look. Like I said, skincare, makeup, everything, you, you're going to see it all. The first thing I wanna do is go in with this mask and it is in the kit that I am giving away. It is the Hydra Rescue Aqua Mask. You can use this overnight or as a 10 minute mask and that's what I'm gonna do now. I don't have anything on my face, like on my skin, <laughs> but I sat down here and immediately started doing my brows. I think it's just force of habit, so I was like, whatever, I, I'm just gonna leave them alone. You can use this on the eye area, but because I've already done that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip that. I am gonna put this all over my face and down my neck. Ooh, it comes out and it's blue. So I'm just going to take it and rub this in. It says that it's instant smoothing, radiance booster face and eyes. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. feels really nice. My skin needs all the hydration it can get. And if you see, I get red instantly. It has nothing to do with the product. I have sensitive skin. And if I touch it, if I just touch my skin, it goes red and blotchy. It's just my skin type. I'm also going to take it on my neck. What the heck? I'm going to take it down here too because it feels good. <laughs> I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and then all it says is just to remove the excess. So I will be right back in 10 minutes, which is probably two seconds for you guys. 10 minutes is up, my skin feels very hydrated. All I'm gonna do is just take a little cotton square and press this onto my skin. I'm not gonna rub or anything like that. I'm just gonna pick up any excess, but I really feel like that sank in really nicely. And then I have some more skincare products I'm going to go in and like dual purpose products. I'm going to go in with, I think I forgot to finish my sentence. Sorry. <laughs> 
on this side of my face, I want to use this beauty right here, which is a part of their holiday collection. This is limited edition, and it is the Starlight Rose Youth Glow Elixir. Let me read a little bit about this. The description says that it is a luxurious brightening face primer with built-in skincare, powerful glow, hyaluronic acid, and pearl absolute for smoother skin, hydration, and anti-aging benefits. So I want to go in with this on this side and then I'm going to use some things that are in the box that I'm giving away on this side. So this is what it looks like. This little guy right here. Oh, it's so pretty. I love their holiday packaging. It's just really nice. And then you have a little spatula here. And this is what it looks like. You take just a little bit of that and go just like so. And oh, this feels nice. This feels very nice. I'm just gonna use this on this side of the face. Again, skin getting red, not the product. I won't say that again, I promise. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference on camera or not, but that actually did hydrate and give me some illumination to my skin, but it also smoothed, which is hard to do with a product that is illuminating as well, and my skin feels amazing. So first impression so far, like, I really like that. On this side of my face, I'm gonna go in with some of their skincare. This is their face cream. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm just going to leave it right down below. So I'm going to first go in with this. This, again, is in the box that I am giving away. So it looks like. Let's see if it smells. Ooh, what is it? Okay. So the top. I've never seen it like this. You know, the thing that keeps it airtight. It has a texture to it. It's cool. Easily amused over here. Ooh. Oh, this, just, this smells different. It smells good. It smells different and this texture looks really interesting okay and there is a spatula in here as well take just a little bit of this and go on this side rub this in this one feels much more um emollient it's thicker not too thick oh it feels really good what is that smell? It smell? This smell is really reminding me of something. While I'm allowing that to sink in, I'm gonna go in with their lip care. Same name as the face cream, but yeah, not gonna try to pronounce that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm going to apply it to my lips. I'm gonna go in with one more product on this side of my face and I'm really excited about it because I loved last year's version. This is the Brightening CC Serum. I absolutely adore this. It was in my favorites. I talked about it all the time. And this is their new one for the holidays and it is the shade Starlight Rose. The description is, it's a brightening face primer, color correction, lights up the skin, regenerating and hydrating benefits of rose hip butter and again this one is limited edition the reason why i'm only putting this on this side of my face is because the elixir is skincare and a primer in one so i kind of want to see how that does by itself whereas i have my skincare and i'm going to put the glow booster cc serum on this side this does not come in the box this is a separate thing but there is this shade in the box for you so you do get one of these it's just a different shade one pump of that right like this and dot it on the side of my face now i'm going to go ahead and start my makeup routine i'm going to take my linda hallberg sponge and well it's not really a sponge it's like a powder puff and i'm just going to dab this right around my pores. I always do this because I wanna pick up any extra hydration, any extra skincare, anything that could make me oily in this area so that I don't have any problems with it. And then MAC Skin Refine Zone, you guys know the drill. Cannot go a day without this. It's gonna help with my oil. I'm just gonna press this in. You guys, my skin feels so good. It feels so good. I like to give that just a second to really kind of shrink up. 
And then I'm going to go in with my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I just take it on my finger. I do not swipe this on my face. Press that into my pores. Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation, VK Beauty 106. I told you guys I've been loving this brush. Love, 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 love it. This is completely random, but I just thought about this, and it's a comment that I forgot to answer, and I don't remember which video <laughs> it was on now to go back. So people ask me all the time why I cover up my stars right here. It's not that I intentionally cover them up. It's just that um, if I don't do makeup right there, it looks odd. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like, oh, I got a little bit too much. Um, it looks like I just forgot a spot, like bare skin. So I do kind of take my finger over that area and I will pick up any excess. But even on camera, because you're putting on highlight and powder and everything else, it looks like I'm trying to cover it up, but I'm not actually trying to cover it up. It just, I want everything to be seamless. I don't want a big, patch of missing makeup right there. I think both sides have made this foundation very glowy, so beautiful, and it went on just so smoothly. I mean, I already love this foundation, but I can see the glowy difference. Again, I always do this right around my pores, making sure that the makeup is blended in to this area. Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector in the shade 2 and a BK Beauty 201. I don't feel like I need as much of this today. Perhaps I got some sleep last night. <laughs> Usually, my I, my uh, darkness right in this area has been legit recently, but it's not as bad today. It's not as bad. I do have a little bit of concealer on my eyelid. And up to my brow. I opted for that today because I wanted something that was going to be a little bit softer. I didn't want the bright Anastasia um, primer with the shadow, like the little shadow stick I'm using. I don't know. I just wanted it to be a little bit more subdued. So I switched up the game a little bit. And I used this guy right here, the Stay Naked Concealer. So that's what I'm going to use for underneath my eyes. Let's get a little bit of that. And I use the shade number 40NN. Sonia Kashuk sponge to blend this out. Look how much coverage. This concealer is so nice. So fresh. By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder. This is the shade Rosy Light. You will be getting a translucent version in the box. But I'm going to use Rosy Light to set underneath my eyes and number 200 to do my face. And this is a Delium 785. I'm just kind of buffing this in. Now I'm going to go in with number 200 on the Dual Expert brush from By Terry as well. I'm just going to press this into the skin. I don't have to use much of this. And it keeps the glow, but gives me a really smooth appearance. For my nose contour, I'm gonna go in with the Terribly Denseless Contouring number 200 compact. And I'm gonna take this shade right here on my Tom Ford number 11. Very little. Do not need a lot of this because it has a lot of pigmentation. Just gonna go down the sides in this area. BK Beauty 202 in the lighter shade. I am gonna take this right down the center and then also help to blend out any kind of harsh edge I could have with that contour. 
for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with Shady Biz from Fenty Beauty on my Sonia G. Which one? Master Face Brush. I'm going to bronze up my skin. For my blush, I'm going to go in with the one that comes in the kit. This is the shade number five, Sexy Pink. And I love these blushes. I have a few of them already, but I don't have this shade, so I'm excited to use this. I This is bright. This is really bright, but I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm going to use it on a Sonia G Designer Pro. I'm going to start on the apples of my cheek. really like this color. I feel like it gives you like that winter, I'm cold kind of flush. And it's so skin-like. Their blushes are so beautiful. Yeah, I like this a lot. And it's something out of the norm for me. I usually go with the neutrals or um, the peachy tones. So it's kind of nice to see something else on me. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have any extra product. I'm just buffing this in. The next product is a part of their holiday collection, and this is the Starlight Rose CC Powder. I have a couple of their CC powders. But I'm so excited to try this one out. I'm so glad that they sent this one over because I was already eyeing it. Ah, I'm really excited to try it. I haven't even opened it and looked at it because I wanted it to be kind of like a surprise on camera. And now I'm getting mad. I can't get it open. <laughs> Why did I get nails again? All right, I got it finally. I used one of their little spatulas from the skincare. <laughs> Okay, it comes in this little sleeve just like the blushes do. I can't wait to open it. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm getting my phone because if this is a topper, I don't care. Hold on. I'm going to get my phone and take a little video of this really quickly before I destroy this because I have a feeling you're not seeing the beauty that I'm seeing. So the video that you guys are seeing now, I didn't use a flash or anything. I wanted you guys just to see the product. This is beautiful. I don't know if this little shimmer is gonna go all the way through. I can't tell. Okay, let me, I'm gonna take this brush right here from Sonia G, it's the mini cheek. I'm just gonna swirl all around in this. Okay, so it does. The shimmer particles do come off of it. So what I wanna do is actually wipe off my brush because I don't want it to have any kind of effect that's not gonna be there later on, you know, like when you're using the product later. So now I'm gonna swirl again and I'm going to apply this. Oh, see, look, it still has intensity though. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda of dot this around. Oh, it smells so good. And then, ooh, this is more pigmented than I expected. I'm gonna to have to wipe off my brush and buff it in. Look at that. Look at it. So smooth and glowy in a very natural way. Right now, typically, I would go in and I would buff. And I'm going to still do that, but I'm going to use a lot less product because I feel like my skin looks really, really good. I'm going to go in with the same color that I used to set my face, the number 200 Natural Tinted Hydro Powder, the brush from By Terry. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of this. I don't want to use too much because, like I said, I just really like the way my skin looks right now. So I don't want to have any edges or anything. I don't I want it to be as seamless, seamless as possible, but I think my skin looks so good and it makes me so mad. I have nowhere to go today and I love, I love this. I love it. Moving on to the eyes. This is going to be super quick because basically I'm just going to be using one product. This is the Color Fix Cream Eyeshadow. What color are you? It is number four, Bronze Moon. And this, again, comes in the kit that you guys will be receiving if you win the giveaway. This is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is just essentially take this all over the lid, like so. Look how easy. It just goes on. 
Smith 235, I'm going to blend the edge of that out. I want to add some more, so I'm going to go right up a little higher. And again, just blending it upward. I mean, look how easy this is. This is one of those things that's just really easy. If you're in a rush, pop that all over your lid, put a little in your crease and blend it out, and you're done. Like, it's that simple. And you also don't have to worry about fallout. I'm going to take that right along the lower lash line. Sonia G Mini Booster, just to blend that out. Eason W21, I'm going to go back in with that CC powder and highlight right at my brow arch. Connecting it downward. I'm also going to put just a little bit of this on the inner corner. Milk Boss Liner to the top inner rim. For mascara, I'm going to go in with their Twist Brush Double Effect Mascara. This is really neat. I've never tried it before, so this will be my first time. So when you look at the brush, you can see it is kind of spiky. It's one of those plastic type of ends, and it's straight. But on the end, you can twist it, and that makes this rounded effect with the bristles, which is really cool. It says that whenever you have it straightened, the lengthened brush stretches and curves the lashes. And then when you twist it, the twisted brush lengthens the lashes for a dramatic volume. So I want, I guess I'm gonna go with both. I'm gonna start off with the regular, just the straight position one. And then I will likely go in and switch to position two. But I am going to get close to my mirror for this because I really hate putting on mascara this far away. I like to be right up against the mirror. So I will give you guys my thoughts afterwards. I went ahead and added on my collaboration with Christian Audette. This is the Kitten Liner. I filled in the lips and I really kind of went in with this. I double layered it so that it would be just a little bit darker, but not too dark. And now I'm going to go in with Beauty Lipstick. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I think about the products that I use today. And I'm going to start off, obviously, with what I put on my face first, which is the Elixir. Um, this is beautiful. If I had to choose a side, I don't think that there is a huge difference between the two. I think that they both look great. This side with the skincare and then the CC Glowy Serum, and then this side with the Elixir. This being an all-in-one, it definitely did the job that both of these did together. I think that this is absolutely beautiful. And it really did give me this smoothing, glowy, just perfected skin type of look. So I am in love with this. When it comes to the Starlight Rose Glow Booster CC Serum, I already knew I was going to like this just because I liked this one so much. So this was no surprise for me. I love this formula. I love the way it makes your skin look. It's been a favorite of mine for a while. I am excited to try out this one. This is the shade White Rose, this one right here. That's the one that comes in the kit that you guys will get. So I'm really happy with that. And then this, oh my goodness, this is so luxurious feeling. This is the face cream. I am definitely going to continue to use this because I feel like, A, it looks amazing underneath my makeup. I feel like it's very hydrating, moisturizing, and just soothing as well. So I don't see a huge difference, like I said, but if I was going to pick a side, it would be this one. I just feel like it's just the slightest, slightest bit smoother, and I do like the fact that you're getting both of the things in one. It's a really nice thing. So if you wanted to skip a step, you could go with that. 
Now let's move on to, obviously you guys know how I feel about the Hydra powder. I love the Hydra powder. I especially love the tinted version. You are getting the translucent in the package, but I love that one as well. I just love the powder. It's something that is a game changer. I mentioned it in my game changer video that this powder is just something that I can do everything with. I can buff with it. I can set underneath my eyes. I can set my face, everything, and I don't get dry. I don't look dehydrated. I don't look too powdery. I have a glow to my skin without glitter. It's just a beautiful formula. Um, oh, the mask. I forgot about this. This was extremely hydrating. I am definitely going to use this probably tonight. <laughs> definitely, probably. <laughs> I am going to use this tonight overnight and see how it works for an overnight treatment. And then I will get back to you. But first impression, it felt really nice. It sank in really nice in the skin. And then even the other products on top of the mask, you know, I blotted off the excess, but everything just really sank into the skin very nicely. I didn't feel like anything was sitting on top of my skin. I don't like that feeling. It's I really don't like that feeling. Uh, what do we have next? The blush. I already know I love the blush formula. This color is so beautiful, especially for the winter time. I think it's going to be beautiful for the spring as well. But I like, again, like this kind of, I'm a little chilly and I have this flush to my skin. It's beautiful. I know it can look a little intimidating in the pan, but Wow, it is, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And uh, yes, ma'am, on the highlight, which is not really a highlight. It's a CC powder. I love the rose design in here and the three different shades. Obviously, I just mix them all together to give me this glow. I just feel like this is the perfect type of powder for that lit from within, no texture, just glow powder. It's absolutely beautiful. I did like the sparkle that was on the top, but I'm also glad that it's not all the way through because sparkle can sometimes be a little bit too much, but it was still pretty. When I opened this up, I was like, oh my gosh, but it, the product in of itself beyond the layer on top just works so beautifully. I love the glow that this gives. The eyes, Again, one and done. I have several shades of this, and it's just something that you can really throw on and look like you put a lot of effort in when really it took you two minutes to do your eyes. And yeah, they last all day. I don't have any issues with these creasing or anything like that. They set down really nicely. I don't feel like I have transfer or anything like that. I don't have problems with my lashes hitting it. Sometimes cream shadows, if they stay a little bit tacky or anything, my lashes are long so I can get, you know, like the residue on the actual cream shadow. And that doesn't happen with these. So those are amazing. I've already tried the lip balm before. I like that. The one thing I don't love about it is it leaves a little, I don't know, it leaves a taste in my mouth that I don't love, but it does feel nice on the lips. I'm so mad at myself because this is in the kit. Ugh! And I meant to use that instead of the dual powder brush. Um, it's a powder and foundation brush. I already had that in my collection and I just forgot that this one was in the kit. So this is a kabuki that you can travel with. You see it opens up and then you push this down and you've got a nice powder brush. It's really soft and you can see with the movement of it. You can use this to set your face. You could use this for bronzer. You could use this for touch-ups on the go. Uh, so yeah, this is in the kit that I am giving away. What else do I have? The mascara. I am going to be the first to tell you that I'm not usually a huge fan of the plastic applicators. Like the brush, I mean. I usually like the more natural, it's not natural hair, but you know what I mean, like that natural type. This I really like. I do prefer the twisted version though. So I went in initially with it just straight and that definitely gives me a lot of length or whatever, but I like the position too where it swirls around and I was able to get a lot of definition. I got a lot of length. I've got um, uh, volume like speak mill. <laughs> and I think that the end result was really nice. I was able to get on the backs of my lashes as well. I did put MAC Extended Play on the bottom. I didn't use this. I always use MAC Extended Play for the bottom. I'll have to let you guys know if this smudges or if it flakes or anything like that. But first impression, my lashes look amazing. 
I'm trying to think, was there anything else? I don't know you guys, I feel like I'm forgetting something but I don't know what it is. So if I forgot something and you're wondering about it, just let me know. I love how my skin looks. I have to tell you that. I love my skin today and I'm not going anywhere. I feel like I have the best skin days, best makeup days on the days that I'm not leaving my house <laughs> and that stinks. But hey, Puffin will enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, about the giveaway, this will be international. I'm not going to exclude anybody. You do need to be 18 years or older or have your parents permission. Leave in the comment section down below that you want to be entered into this giveaway and give me a way to contact you. That's all I need is just either like an Instagram or an email. Make sure that it's just some way that I can contact you on the date of the giveaway, which will be a week from today. And today is Friday the 6th, so Friday the 13th. You guys can remember that, right? Friday the 13th at 12 noon central time. I will be reaching out to you guys. I'm going to leave all the extra information down below, like void, where prohibited, and all this stuff. One more thing I want you guys to do to enter the giveaway, and that is to follow by Terry on Instagram. I will leave their link down below. They were so kind to let me keep this and give it away to you guys. So I just think that you guys should go follow them. Just go follow them, leave me a comment, and you guys will be entered. Again, all the official rules will be listed down below. And it is for just this kit. I wish I had duplicates of the holiday stuff, like the uh, CC and the powder and whatnot, but I don't. It's just this kit. But this is a $450 kit so i think you guys will love it and there's more products in here that i didn't even get to use today <sighs> i love it thank you by terry so so much i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys i'm not gonna drop this on the floor <laughs> bye guys